boya boya. <laughs> Sometimes a little sore. Okay, maybe a lot sore. But oh well. <laughs> That's the way we look at it. Oh well. What do you do when you're in pain? What do you do when you suffer? If you're a man, you whine. <laughs> Is it a true? But... What God wants us to do is to just share it with Him. To just give it to Him and endure. Sometimes He'll give you a distraction. Sometimes He'll give you a healing. For those who say that you should never have pain or never have illness, that's false. That's not an accurate teaching. But we do have a choice of how we react to suffering and how we deal with affliction or pain or illness. It's not demonic. It's not satanic. It's not faith and have more faith. But what it is, is God in all, for all, and by all. Because God is with you in your suffering. So, if you do trust in the Lord with all your heart, leaning not into your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledging Him, then as He's directing your path, He'll show you the way for you to go. And though it may involve suffering, maybe even death, guess what? Eternity's coming. Isn't that good news? Marvelous happenings. Our Lord, with hearts full of joy, we thank Thee for Thy marvelous blessings showered on us today and every day. I am beside You. Follow in all things my guiding. Marvels beyond all your imaginings are unfolding. I am your guide. Joy in that thought, your guide and your friend. Remember that to me, a miracle is only a natural happening. To my disciples, to my chosen, a miracle is only a natural happening. But it is a natural happening operative through spiritual forces. And therefore, the man who works and understands through the senses only regards it as something contrary to nature. But it's natural for me. My children, the children of my kingdom are peculiar people. They are set apart. They have different hopes different aspirations, different motives, and a different sense of reward. You see, a marvelous happening as that today, happening so easily and so simply, so free from all other agency, and you wonder about it. My children, listen. This has not happened easily and simply. It has been achieved by hours, days, months of weariness and heartaches battled against and overcome by a steadfast, unflinching, desire to conquer self and to do my will and to live my teachings. The frets and the worries and the scorn patiently borne mean spiritual power acquired operating marvelously. We know that if we endure, if we persevere, in due time we shall reap. Sometimes, suffering or pain, circumstance or challenges, anxieties or worries may cause you to lose hope or lose heart. But you know, God already knows that. So if you have committed it to Him and told Him about it, and if you are feeling discouraged and down and out and blown out, don't worry. God sees you right where you are today. God sees you exactly as you are today. 
And because he's promised, he'll make you better tomorrow. And tomorrow. 